Phase one of the expedition was a great success. We have been a team, an isolated team of a small number of people far away from any other uh, human community. I think we did an extraordinary job organizing ourselves and coordinating the work. It's been great to work together with the other leaders and the other scientists to figure out how to put the pieces together in a way that's going to make sense for all of us. It's a very, very heterogeneous group. It's just the nature. We have different scientific disciplines. We have uh, logistics, we have data, we have media, and of course the science, and they all have to play together somehow. Multidisciplinary science is possible and it is necessary uh, to work together in the most uh, demanding conditions which we experienced. This, this achievement that you gather people from different disciplines and different legs in different seasons. Amazing. To me, it's very amazing. Oh man, I am so impressed. I am just so floored by the things that we accomplished together, given that we were strangers. Most of us were strangers to begin with. And at some point, we just found a way to trust one another and to rely upon one another, and most importantly, to support one another. Being dedicated to such an enormous project and commitment to other people has really made me see just how important an individual can be. So the legacy of the, the mosaic is that we will generate a new generation of the polar scientists. Seeing all the young scientists and seeing them really thrive, to stand forward, to go out and do this great science, to take on leadership, um, that's really excited me, motivated me to see that and, and to feel that you know, the, the future of Arctic science is really going to be in good hands. We've got this whole new crop of young people that are coming up and Mosaic is helping to lift them up in, into this, this kind of new world of Arctic research as, as we kind of unravel the puzzles of the changing Arctic system. During these two months stay on the ice, you, you kind of have an idea. The ice is becoming thinner. Sadly, in my lifetime, I think we will see what it really means to have significant ice loss in the Arctic and what those implications are. The uh, Arctic is a region where, the, where climate warming is larger. It's at least uh, twice as large as in the global average, and in wintertime it's even much more pronounced. Uh, at the same time, it is the region where our climate models have the largest uncertainties. And so what we are doing is actually demonstrating how organisms will change and their distributions will change and activities will change with the loss of sea ice in the Arctic. Our results will fill this knowledge gap that we see in all the climate models. So actually the work we are doing here can then be used on satellite back at least the last 15 years and for some variables even for these close to 40 years to the 70s and um, produce new climate time series. I think that's a very good approach to ensure that lots of people for the years to come are able to analyze this data and, uh, and come out with some output uh, that will really bring us forward in the investigation of climate change. We always said we do the greatest expedition ever with this biggest field experiment. Then when you sail out, you realize it is the biggest and largest thing. I, I love it. It's, I mean, now, of course, we're moving in the ice and you have this noise when the ice cracks in front of the vessel. This is amazing. And I just had to remind myself actively that I'm actually standing on an ocean. It was exhausting, but at the same time extremely exciting and very rewarding. Never seen so dynamic ice, ridges forming in front of your eyes, the sound of that, the moving ice. Uh, um, yeah, that's also an awesome experience of nature. Seeing the sky, for example, with a night vision device, and you see so many stars. Those views are, are kind of the reward for all the hard work. These amazing vistas, looking back towards the ship or looking out towards the horizon. Feeling the wind and having some snow, for example. Just seeing ice. Um, in those light conditions for the first time for myself was very, very beautiful. Um, it looked like a place on a, on a different planet. Yeah. It is definitely a completely different thing to come home from this expedition. 